just checked into our Airbnb in Lake Como. This is the little kitchenette, the fridge, then all of the storage space. This is for our closet. And then in here is the bathroom. So roomy. lunch we're in this cute little town that's like five minutes from our Airbnb and it's so cute there's a lot of stairs yeah. welcome to our Lake Como vlog so we didn't really talk much at all earlier today but we got into our Airbnb late last night and I'll go ahead and link down below all the restaurants we went to all the places that we're staying but this place is gorgeous it has like a full wall of windows of the lake and Brian and I literally woke up for sunrise this morning looked outside and we're like it doesn't even look real it's so pretty but we're currently in bed it's 1 a.m. and we got to sleep in which I feel like is the first time we slept in this whole trip and I think we really needed that but tomorrow we want to explore more of the little town. We did spend a couple of days in Milan and Pisa but I feel like we didn't get to fully explore Milan. We didn't even get to go to like the famous plaza and malls that are gorgeous there so we are going to go back and see Marco and Alyssa on Monday and kind of explore some of the pieces of Milan that we missed. We're also craving Asian food so we might try to hit some Asian food because we had some really good ones while we were there. Um, we also had pizza for the first time today and we're in Italy so like what the heck why did it take so long? I also did some shopping while we were in Milan so I'll do a little haul of that maybe tomorrow. Anyways, we had a really good day. Lake Como is super cute. A lot of the things that we heard was that it was super bougie and everything was expensive. But we're staying in Dervio, which is kind of like outside the main town. So there's a lot of historical sites around here. It's more locals. Like literally the restaurant we went to, no one spoke any English except for like a younger gentleman who knew a little bit. But a lot of the coffee shops, a lot of the places are just pure locals and the prices of everything is way more reasonable so like all of our meals today were under $50 and we had a lot of food at both places we actually have leftovers um so so far really great experience everywhere we go we're like obsessed with the view it just doesn't even look real so if you've never been to Lake Como highly recommend and it's also very useful to have a car Parking here is super easy. Like I said, there's not a whole lot of people around anyway, so you just have to make sure you to read the signs. You can get around without a car, but having one just makes life so much easier. So anyways, we're going to bed. It is Saturday night, so we have another full day of exploring tomorrow. And we're in this Airbnb for like a couple more days and then we switch to a new one so we can explore a new area of Lake Como. Good night.
So today is actually the first like super warm morning. Every other day has been like freezing cold. Coming for you. Hello, so we just toured a venue and we're headed to Milan right now. We're gonna go see Alyssa and Marco before they head back. And we also have a couple of shops that we wanted to see. We're gonna grab Asian food. Mm. Very excited. We have about a 45 minute drive. Good morning, it is around 11.30. We're on our way to look at our next venue tour. Didn't realize we had to hike to get to this one but yesterday we spent the day with Alyssa and Marco and they're staying in Milan so we just did a quick one hour drive from Como to Milan and I'm actually gonna pop that portion of the vlog in my Milan vlog so that way we have everything in that city all in one place so if you guys want to see what we did so definitely check out that vlog but we are headed to tour and we're running so late got back from our little tour and the grounds are gorgeous but I think a little bit out of budget and maybe too hilly for grandma. Well also just so buttoned up and like not accommodating to a party. Yeah the more venues we tour the more we realize how important it is to be able to pick our own vendors and all that stuff but this place had so many different rules and restrictions that I just don't think it would work. But you it was couldn't, great. you were only designated to drink a glass of wine in a certain area and you couldn't go outside of that area and drink. Yeah, you couldn't so like- if you wanted to walk around with your glass, you can't. Yeah, which is a little bit of a bummer, especially if you're trying to have a good time with your guests. Like, yeah. Yeah, so we toured Villa Bob Bobinello and they actually filmed Star Wars and James Bond there. So I think there's, it's given, the villa a little bit of a name so everyone knows about it now so while we we're walking around there's so many people with their little tripods and ring lights and it just seemed a little too mainstream for us but it was really pretty we're headed to breakfast it's around 1 p.m so we're having our first meal of the day we're going to grab a little coffee and then explore part of bellagio some of the other parts of lake como that we have not explored yet
house, we have a little deck. We're gonna show you the view. Over here we have this gorgeous hallway. Actually doing some laundry and it's taking little sits and then we also have a washing machine and then this area we've kind of dirtied up but big living room a little kitchenette and a lot of places we noticed have a drying rack above the sink which is genius but our Airbnb is huge. We did not expect it to be two different levels. The location is super nice. Finding parking is a little bit crazy. And there's a church right next to us that has a bell that goes off literally every like half hour. The reviews had said something about it, but I think I just breezed over it. We were looking at so many different properties, I totally forgot. So if you're a light sleeper, might not work out for you, but the location is great if you don't have a car. It's so nice to like walk around and be so close to everything. You have a view upstairs, and I think each night here was around $150, which for the price, amazing. You did have to carry all of our luggage up like two and a half flights of stairs. So definitely a lot of stairs. We checked in really late last night, so we are like sweating, struggling, bringing, um, making so much noise, bringing all of our luggage up. We could be here with another group of our friends. I see it being really, really fun. We do have a car with us, so it was a little bit problematic driving around trying to find parking, but I think a lot of the more popular areas, parking just is a little bit more scarce and you kind of have to loop around and look for a while. But we just had lunch back at our place and I'm gonna do a little bit of work and later we're gonna pop out and look at some of the stores, do some grocery shopping and stock up on our fridge. This is probably my favorite thing about being in Europe is that we can walk anywhere. It's like 8.30 p.m. and we're walking to dinner. So I got these Celine loafers and we just have like a quick five minute walk to dinner so I'm breaking them in with some thick socks. interesting day because Brandon and I have an engagement shoot. I don't have any tools to do my hair and Brandon's razor just like his razor blew out so hopefully we can get our hair done and he can get a little shape. I'm now going to a different salon and this is the blow up that they ended up doing. Super cute and it was 25 euros. No tip. Magnificent lunch, and we are actually gonna meet with our photographer in Bellagio and we're gonna do our little engagement shoot. So, this morning was a little bit chaotic. I had my hair done last minute. We slept in when we really did not have time to sleep in, like, we were over an hour late to lunch, but it was ended up working out perfectly. This is also the makeup that I'm gonna be wearing to shoot, done in the car, this crazy driver. But we're meeting with a photographer that we might actually be potentially working with for our wedding. So it would be a good little trial run and he also shoots film as well. So excited to shoot with him and it'll be in Lake Como.
morning we are actually all packed up and this morning we grabbed a nice little croissant breakfast and then we had to stop by this gelato place that apparently is one of the top rated in the area so waited waited about 45 minutes for them to open and it was delicious and now we are on the road to nice so this ends our little lake como portion of this week's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this is probably one of our favorite places that we went to the pace of life out here is definitely a little bit slower but we spent a almost a full week here and rented a car which is really nice for getting around highly recommend getting a car especially if you have lots of luggage like us and it just really minimized how much walking you had to do in between and more so we're able to like have energy to explore some of the little towns and stuff like that we also had our photo shoot yesterday with uh constantine and we love the energy the place that we went was gorgeous so we're really excited to see the photos hopefully we get those in a couple of weeks so if you guys follow me on instagram you'll probably see them on there but anyways we're headed to nice hope you guys enjoyed we'll also list all the restaurants and link our airbnbs that we stayed down below the first place that we stayed at we loved gorgeous the second place was really nice and close to everything but it was kind of big it was almost like too big for us and it was a little bit of an older building so sometimes feel, felt kind of like rickety and almost scary at night and the internet was like painfully slow but that's kind of the problem with airbnbs you never really know what you're gonna get but really like the first place that we stayed at would highly recommend but anyways see you guys ciao, next week ciao, ciao.